started my uh, my car jumping career at a little speedway in Orlando, Florida called Orlando Speed World. My first jump, and as they're bringing in my cars to land on, the last car they kind of wheeled in was this old VW bus. And one of the track workers came up and asked me, he said, look, that's my van, and they're only using it because they don't have any more cars for you to land in. Can you try not to hit that thing? And I'm like, sure, I, I'll do my best. I came in and did the jump, and as soon as I left the ramp and the car started pointing towards the ground, all I was seeing is this yellow van coming in, and I just clobbered the thing. I felt really bad for the guy. A few years later, um, I got my first big opportunity to work at a major speedway. When I drove up to the actual speedway, and the ground oh, called on fire. <laughs> my first big job, there was 180,000 people there at the event. The stunt was driving a car through six cars standing on end like dominoes. And I set a world record, it was my first one. The very following year, I was invited back to headline the show there for the NASCAR race, for the pre-race events. We came up with a stunt of jumping a school bus, and we wanted to break a world record. Uh, the current record stood at 80 feet, turned into the infield, hit the pyro as I hit the ramp, and as I'm flying out and over all the buses, I thought, oh my god, I'm going to miss everything. bus literally kissed the last car just barely, went into the ground. I had so much forward speed, it just skid across the infield and stopped.